hope of all U.S. men's national team fans, Ricardo Pepe made his first start for the German club on Sunday in a 1-1 draw against Eintracht Frankfurt. He played 84 minutes, got two shots, uh, and of course scored zero goals. Uh, most interesting, perhaps the fact that kicker, big outlet in Germany, whoop, gave him a rating of 4.5, uh, which actually made him the second lowest rated player on the field. How does kicker do their scoring? It's a, it's a one through six scale. One is the very best, six is the very worst. So what he got to 84 minutes, 34 touches, and uh, two attempts on goal. Hercules Gomez, were, were kicker, the uh, the German magazine, were they too harsh on Ricardo Pepe? There's Derek Gray, right? <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. You should know better, Derek. You should know better. They're gonna shoot the messenger. Well, uh, did they, were they too harsh? Maybe, Seb, I don't know. I know there's gonna be those people out there that's, well, he did well enough in his holdup play. He did a good job of trying to link up with teammates. Did you see the way he pressed the opposition, forced them into mistakes, the way he was challenging them defensively? Yeah, that's great. But you know what he didn't do? He didn't score. Do you know what he's brought in to do? Score goals. They paid $20 million, $20 million for him to score goals. He has not as of yet. That's not on me. That's not on kicker. That's what they brought him to do. And the one opportunity, the most brilliant, the golden mm. opportunity that he had, he scuffed it. No, no. Some would say he choked it away. It was that bad of a finish. Unlucky on the goal called back. Could have had a, could have had a case. No problem there. But Ricardo Pepe wasn't brought in to be a good player in link up or mm. hold up, to be an assist man, to be a player that could be helping them on the de defensive end of things. He was brought in to score goals that simple. And he's got that narrative going around him. I think it was Karim Benzema not too long ago that said, uh, I scored a goal and somebody said, hey, you played such a great game. And he's like, no, mm. I didn't. Did you even watch the game? You know, I'm paraphrasing here, but he's like, Goal scores nowadays, people just concentrate on the goals. They don't realize when you play well or don't play well. That's one of the beauties of being a nine. Ricardo Pepe lives in that world, but he's got to score those goals. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Look, um, we keep waiting for those goals, right? We keep waiting for him. He, uh, he talked to Dazen after the match, said there's much less time and space than he was accustomed to in Major League Soccer. So um, I think we have a little bit of the reason why, right? There's an explanation there. He just got there as to why there's a learning curve, but uh, but surely he needs to get the goals. And the reality is, other guys, Herc, are scoring. Mikhail Gregorich got on got on the score sheet again. That's now four and seven for him. So Augsburg has a, has a forward who's heating up. It's just right now, not the $20 million American, Ricardo Pepe, as we take a look at the, uh, the heat map there, the touches for him. Up next, it's Saturday against Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, so a big opportunity there. But Herc, as we go back to the initial over under that we set for Ricardo Pepe, what was it? Uh, a couple weeks ago, remember we put it at five and a half. That was pretty lofty numbers. He's now down to just five games to go. Are you feeling any better about your pessimistic under 15 pick? games to go, Seb. Don't short, you still got time. Five and a half goals, I picked the under, you picked the over. I'm feeling pretty good about my pick right now. It's not easy. There mm -hmm. comes a learning curve with this adjustment. He doesn't have much, much of a period because they're fighting a relegation battle and people expect things out of him. But he's still a very young player. You, you ever heard of the sophomore slump? Well, he's not even into a sophomore season of being mm -hmm. a starter. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're kind of experiencing those groaning pains with Ricardo Pepe.